Hello there and welcome to another edition of Randy's Wellness TV here on TorontoTV.org. I'm your host Randy Rowett. It's nice to have you with us here again. We have two guests with us today. We have Elisa Yi. Welcome. Hello. And Dr. Lu Ying Yang. How are you today? Thank you. Nice to have you both with us. And both of my guests are from the Joy Meridian Wellness Center and that is in Toronto here. And we are going to talk about something very interesting indeed. That is the computerized bioenergetic health assessment. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Elisa, tell us a little bit about this uh, procedure. What is the computerized bioenergetic health assessment? Computerized uh, uh, bioenergetic uh, assessment, or as we call it, the Meridian Stress, Meridian stress yeah. assessment system, is used to conduct a comprehensive interview for the inner organ or system in our body to see whether it's balanced or out of balance. And it's according to Chinese Meridian Theory. This machine, what we use, is a product of uh, the knowledge combined Chinese traditional medicine, European medicine, and modern science and technology. And how long has this technology been around? Uh, it's been around since 1950s. It was invented by a German doctor, Dr. Wu. Okay. Yeah, he's a medical doctor and also he's an acupuncturist. And that's, a, that's quite an interesting concept to develop yeah. this type of uh, equipment. And how does that work? Uh, we, we use this equipment to test the meridian, to test the meridian points, which uh, according to Chinese medicine, the meridian is pathway of energy. Pathway of energy. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the meridian points, or we call it acupoints, can collect the information uh, on our body to see uh, what the organ or system function, how it functions, whether it's balanced or out of balance. Okay, and that brings us to Dr. Lu Ying Yang. Welcome. Thank you. And can you tell us a little bit about your background, please? Oh, I have. Uh, I'm a medical graduate from uh, China. Uh, I have a master's degree in cardiology there. Uh, I came to Canada in 1980s. Uh, I uh, did my PhD in the University of Toronto uh, in uh, biochemistry, emphasizing in nutrition. That's very, very good. And, and, and uh, yes. I've been doing uh, uh, medical research for many years and also had some uh, clinical experience as well, uh, doing uh, cardiovascular disease research and cancer research for 10 years. That's an impressive background. Elisa, what is your background in terms of health? Um, I am a holistic licensed in, in Toronto and also uh, I'm specially trained for the operation of this computerized assessment that we call it Meridian Stress Assessment System. And also in Europe I have been doing some energy training and energy healing for about 10 years to cooperate with, uh, with my friend. Okay, so we're going to have a demonstration here. I'm going to be the subject. And we're going to have a demonstration on how this meridian stress uh, monitoring assessment is, is done. So uh, I guess I have to move over. Yes, and, Dr. Uh, Young. Please. Dr. She's Young's going, going to, to explain this procedure so our, our viewers can pick that up. Okay. Okay. Well, doctor, what, what type of machine is this? Uh, What's it this called? Uh, this is called a, com a computer Meridian Stress Assessment it's System. It's all part of the whole system. Yeah, okay. it's a simplifies uh, MSAS. Okay. Uh, you know, it's computerized. It uh, initiated uh, by Dr. Wall uh, from Germany, uh, but since recent years, uh, it uh, connected with the computer. It uh, revolutionizes technology. It's no longer just the Dr. Wall anymore. So it's uh, involved with uh, European medicine and. The uh, Chinese medicine is not only Chinese medicine uh, because it tests them more meridian than the uh, than the Chinese meridian Chinese medicine found. So, what's so the relation to this to traditional Chinese medicine? Uh, uh, no, it's not only Chinese medicine. It's, uh, it's lots of ways yes. Chinese medicine. Yes, medicine. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, uh, for for example, yes. this machine can test over eight hundred meridian points. Uh, of them are 620 are uh, TCM uh, points. So it then there are about 200 discovered by Dr. Wall. Okay. Uh, so it's more related with the uh, actual anatomy. 
more physiology involved, more science. Uh, now, can this technique be used to uh, prevent future problems? Uh, yes, uh, because uh, uh, before you have a pathological change, yes. uh, you know, like a tumor, uh, like anything serious can be discovered by uh, Western medicine diagnosis. Uh, usually there is a chi, there is an energy, energy change before that, even long before that. So this machine can pick up the energy change uh, by meridian, the meridian energy and frequency. Okay. So, uh, well, you know, some problem uh, long before the Western diagnosis. Can, so this is a, will be very good uh, for the prevention purpose. Okay, you have <laughs> some pictures here. Maybe yeah. we can just look at those. Uh, yeah, well I... Yeah. Um, Let's have a look at this one first. Yeah, well now this, this is a bioenergetic picture uh, relating to acupoints. Now this right. is the hand, I no, that's the foot. That's the foot. That's the foot, okay. Yeah, the other side is hand. Okay. Uh, this is foot. Uh, oh, let's hold that up for our viewers, okay. In foot, there is the uh, uh, split meridian, a uh, liver okay. meridian, and joint meridian. This is not in the Chinese medicine. Okay. And the stomach meridian is, and the fabric tissue uh, is not in the Chinese medicine. And the skin is not in the Chinese medicine. Uh, that's why I said it's more than TCM. Uh, yes. it's a, and also fatty tissue. Uh, this gallbladder is in the Chinese medicine. And the kidney is in the uh, Chinese medicine. And also the, the bladder meridian. I see. Uh, agree with the Chinese medicine. Okay. Uh, the other side is uh, the hand. Yes. Uh, Here we have a look at the hand. hand. Uh, this is the lymphatic meridian. Uh, in Chinese medicine, it's supposed to be a lung meridian. But uh, Dr. Wall found it's more than just a lung. So yes. uh, then also there's lung meridian in the thumb. Uh, mm -hmm. Also uh, in the index finger, there is a, a liver meridian. Uh, no, large intestine meridian. And also there is a nerve meridian. Okay. Uh, and, and here also the circulation meridian and the uh, uh, allergy meridian, uh, which is not in the TCM. Uh, also there's the organ degeneration also called cellular metabolism point. Okay. Uh, it's uh, and uh, also there is a triple warmer meridian represent the endocrine change. Uh, also there is a uh, intestine small intestine meridian and also there is a heart meridian. Uh, so each of these point actually is uh, one point to represent the whole series meridian on the same meridian route. And the reason why we're showing that is yeah. because these meridians are uh, are um, assessed by use of this machine. Yeah. So that's why we're doing this. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you'd like to demonstrate now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So I'm going to put my hand on here, and tell us how this procedure is done. Now we'll just follow through the steps here. Uh, we, and the the patient will have the the hand mass uh, put in the. Okay. So now you're going to put some. In the left hand. I'll okay. Put some. Uh, okay. So here we have. Uh, put this a, is a, a the hand like electrical mass. energy. Yeah. Yeah. Then connect everything in one electro circuit. Okay. Uh, so then we can uh, do the test. All right. And uh, he just relax. Yes. Hold this. I better relax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't do good to have a test when you're not relaxed. Yeah. Okay. Then you can put your hand there. There we go. Okay. Now my hand has this pillow. I wish to hold my whole body at a pillow yeah. so I could go to sleep right now. Yeah. But my hand Before has this pillow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what are we doing now? Uh, we're going to uh, do the, the hand point, like okay. uh, showing this picture. Yes, okay. Uh, because the time is limited, uh, we only do show demonstration for the one hand. Obviously, for our show, before. we don't have a full time yeah. period uh, for the do the whole assessment, but we're going to yeah. give the viewers a good example of what takes place. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is just, uh, we're, we're only de demonstrate for one hand. Um, now, what does the sound indicate? The sound indicate... Uh, you know, there's a testing, yes. and if the pitch is high, means the, the it's more of acute. Okay. And if the pitch is low, means the energy is low. All right. Okay. Got some high energy there. Uh, yeah, this one's balanced apparently. Now, what if a person's holding this thing and they have an itch? Does that matter? They have to scratch. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. You can scratch it. Okay. Okay. Probably you can't see what I'm. Uh, yeah. How long is this assessment usually? Uh, usually take about one hour. Okay. 
run through the, the test, uh, take about 20 minutes. But if you want to find out uh, what's the problem with it, that take longer, depends. Uh, I should say for our viewers out there, I'm not feeling any of this. There's no current coming through my body. This is just a reading ma a machine, right? Yeah. Provides reading. Yeah, yeah. it's no pain, no, right. no, pain no, at all. no uh, irritation. It's totally non-invasive. The large intestine is the low. Okay. Oh. I'm going to talk to you a little bit after you do this about what, what how you correct these things because it's a prevention uh, yeah. uh, technique, right? Yeah. Be interesting. Now we're doing the, the circulation meridian. Okay. Now this is a allergy meridian. People have an allergy, usually. Well, I do have some allergies, but a lot well, of them have to do with chem uh, chemical sensitivities, things like that. Yeah, if it's well, if it's well for allergy, it's uh, because there's uh, something wrong with the immune system. Mm -hmm. You know, um, That's doing the endocrine. Okay, endocrine. Okay. Yeah. So what can, once you find that there might be a system that's low, what can be done? What can be done? Uh, then we can analyze the why it's out of balance. Okay. Uh, and that could be for a variety of reasons. Yeah, it could all, be, so. you know, could be infection and uh, and Maybe just a uh, person's uh, worn down or something exhausted. Yeah, stress. Yes. Uh, or nutrition deficiency. Can analyze if, if this is from protein amino acids or okay. uh, enzyme. Now, a person who's diabetic, how would that show up on here? If they, if they were diabetic, would it be a low uh, or high? Well, it's uh, complicated. Depends okay. on what what stage of diabetes yes. you have. Of course. Yeah. Usually, diabetes patient will have for spleen, pancreas problem. Okay. <laughs> and also a liver got out of balance too. That that usually more on the feet. Now, a good reading of this MSAS is done on the uh, the feet, of course. And oh no, hand and feet, all yes. they are different. Yes. Okay, let's see what I've got here. Okay, now we're yeah. going to look at the uh, reading here and see what it comes up with. Uh, okay. So you have... Uh, now you have different colors here. You have yellow, red, and yeah. green. Okay. Now what would the red one be? Uh, the, the red one... <coughs> uh, we'll talk about every uh, reading associated with a quantitative number. Okay. okay? Uh, so... If in the green range, that means you are balanced. Balanced. Yeah, you are okay. relatively balanced. Okay. And if it's uh, yellow, means that uh, it's weak. The chi, the energy is weak. Okay. Uh, but it's possible to support it, to correct that. Uh, Most likely because of uh, prevention strategies, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 You know, if you go see a Western doctor, probably they couldn't find anything wrong with you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it depends on <laughs> the reading. Okay. Yeah, it depends. Okay. Depends what problem you, you have. Uh, now I have one red one there. Which one is that? Yeah, the red one is uh, lymphatic. Okay. Uh, it's lymphatic. Do you have a tooth problem? I have had in the past. I had a bridge put in, and I had a little bit of a problem with that related uh, to uh, in your upper or lower. It is. It is lower. Lower. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you know, tooth I had problem. Some complications with that. So. Yeah, tooth problem can affect the I Y two and three, mm -hmm. or if you have cold. Or you have a sinus uh, infection, yes. you can be right. Well, that's uh, amazing because yes, I did yes. just have a tooth problem and it's been ongoing for a little while, and I'm trying to get that corrected. So yeah. because so I didn't ask any history of you. Yes, I just, of course. Uh, now, what about the, the other red one there? Uh, 
the other one is endocrine. Preserve. This is majorly thyroid. I think you are under some kind of stress. That's why you are. Yeah, is it the side. stress of sitting here in front of this machine? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it is because you so. have because you yeah. have been driving all day probably. Yes, <laughs> it's been a long day, but a good day. Pick up yes. us. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, there's a stress. Uh, for the stress of having my producer <laughs> yell at me to keep going, keep going, yeah. keep going. Yeah. Your body is compensating <laughs> with the stress situation. Yeah, and yeah. your body is still able to compensate. It. If your yes. body cannot compensate it anymore, it will become yellow. Okay. Yeah. So right now it's a it's a kind of acute uh, stress situation. Okay. Uh, yeah. And the and also sometimes the inflammation can be right if you are having fever or somewhere infected, uh, can uh, if you have thyroid problem. Yeah. Ha yes, yeah, I have not had any thyroid. Yeah. If well, I, this is uh, yeah. unlikely to be a permanent problem yet, but yes. it's acute uh, hormonal. In violence, yeah, because uh, you have uh, acute uh, ah. stress, yeah, and uh, also this large intestine and the small intestine are the violence. That means uh, it's yellow. Then That's, that could be like a digestive thing. Digestive yeah, digesting. That means uh, usually, uh, what I have found is uh, over ninety percent people are have the weak large intestine. Uh, over ninety percent. You if you test ten people, at least nine will have this problem. Uh, because uh, you know what we eat, uh, probably uh, not all that healthy. Yeah, I didn't eat really at all before yeah. I came today. It was just such yeah. a very, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, this is accumulated since yes. it's already yellow. Mm -hmm. So there are some, uh, maybe some, I think, accumulating in your gut. Yes. Uh, so this, if it lasts too long, you might something. Time for my probiotics. Can I have so some of that yogurt? So you gotta have <laughs> some, <laughs> some <laughs> yes. intestine, large intestine cleansing. Okay, that's, yeah, that's you need. very yeah. true. Yes, so I'm this is. Sure. Uh, uh, you don't need uh, the, you know, the endoscope colonoscopy. You can identify the chi uh, yes. imbalance there, and uh, that means your large intestine has uh, some problem or removing the waste. Ah, okay. So a good cleanse so would be beneficial. Yeah. Yes. So you know you can ask the question: Are you constipated? No. Or you have you have well, diarrhea? If you yeah. don't have this, but you, since the chi is weak, yes. then that means uh, you you need improve your. Uh, Intestine health, health. Okay. Yeah. Now, are we finished our little sample test here? Uh, yeah. Okay. I want to ask you something. How do you test for food sensitivities uh, or allergies? Okay, food sensitivity will. will uh, Can I give you this back? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, you still need that one. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we need some. So you test for food now. This okay. is another procedure, another uh, program. Yeah. Okay. And there's a variety of foods that uh, people are, and other things that people are allergic to every day. I mentioned before about food sensitivities, allergies, uh, seasonal allergies, people allergic to uh, chemical sensitivities, things in the environment, colognes, hairsprays, uh, uh, certain pesticides, food additives. There's a variety of things that people can be uh, yeah. allergic to. And this assessment, is it does it pick up the trouble related to all those things? Uh, well, this is uh, because if you have food sensitivity, that means uh, your immune system majorly right. out of balance right. yeah. and, and treat your uh, own body as an enemy. Uh, that's so it why attacks itself. Yeah, attack yeah. your... That's you right, know. yeah. Um, so for the people who have food sensitivity, usually have something else in the body and out of balance too. Right now, we only did, uh, you know, less than a qu quarter. So how do you go with... <laughs> T testing for yeah, a this, variety of foods. How would you do that? Yeah, this uh, uh, this program uh, in the equipment uh, has uh, over five hundred foods. Really? Yeah. So you can test. Let me find it. Input sensitivity. Okay, my group. Now, could a person's uh, mental health status or or uh, emotional aspect of their lives really affect this reading? Yes. Yeah. Of course, yeah, affect a lot. Okay. Because, uh, uh, th yeah, this machine. Since we are talking about stress. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's able to find out, uh, you know, you have physically problem. You see, we are all genetically, physically, environmentally, and emotionally affected. So this machine can pick up the problem from uh, uh, virus area. Okay. In summary, um, we just have a few minutes left. Yeah. So, the uh, food testing food is broken down. We've only got about. Okay, so here, yeah. uh, uh, can test the food additive. Sure. Uh, food additives and preservatives, you can test to see yeah, allergies. Yeah, you can. Yeah. 
you can see all kinds of dye you are allergic to it. Here, red, red dyes, dyes or green dyes or something. Dye. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and what do you do to prevent all these after? Prevent? All, this, all these indicated problems, how do you prevent? Prevent, you, you have to do good thing for your immune system. Uh -huh. Yeah, your immune system uh, uh, cannot be stimulated by drug, uh, can only be uh, nourished by nutrition. Yes, nutrition yeah, and, and, and not to mention a good lifestyle, uh, lifestyle, uh, re exercise, uh, uh, rest, all those yeah, things, right? Yeah. Um, there are many kinds of uh, plant nutrition yes. uh, can nourish the immune system. That's true, yeah. yes. Okay, thank you very much for showing uh, us that. I mean, we have to, to Lisa, please join us again. It was very interesting, and uh, you can see how the benefits of that, of this type of bioenergetic system, as it detects problems related to the body, and that's a unique technology and something that we all should consider because it may bring out aspects of our lives where we can decide to, as the Dr. Young would say, like do a cleanse or something preventative to prevent further problems in the future. An amazing piece of technology, and, uh, and I thank you both for being here today. Thank you. Thank our you for inviting us. You're very welcome. Our guests have been Dr. Young and also Elisa Yi of the Joy Meridian Wellness Center and a very informative program. Thank you to our sponsors as always, because without them the show would not be here. And uh, we will be at the Total Health Show, by the way, this weekend. We'll be there and uh, covering the natural health aspects of things and uh, to keep this program up to date on the latest trends in natural health. I'm Randy Rowett, thank you for joining us on another edition of Randy's Wellness TV. Bye for now.